three and I'm live. Hi guys. We are going to talk about today is why do you need to blog if you have an e-commerce store? I mean, that's the last thing you're going to think about, right? But here is the secret. Blogging is low hanging fruit. Seriously, seriously low hanging fruit. So we're going to be talking all about blogging, why you should be blogging. And I want to show you the anatomy of blogging, what happens if you blog and where you can reuse your blog from your e-commerce store and then get people to come back to your e-commerce store. So blogging is like the, the best kept secret, a secret weapon for any online business owner and brings long tail search engine keywords for years to come. I mean, you can use this blog again and again and again and people tend to forget right they forget what they've read i mean you can send in a, a, your your blog in your email half of it and then you know that you can send it three weeks later and people go wow this is an amazing story i have not read this in the meantime they've already read it they just remember parts of it okay so so you don't even have to call it blogging as soon as i mention blogging people go oh my god blogging i don't want to do blogging right but call it something else, call it news articles, call it FAQs, call it whatever else you want to. Don't even think about blogging because as soon as you hear blogging, you hear writing and your mind goes mush, right? Because it's so difficult and I know people are popping in on, uh, face, on Facebook. Ah, Dennis Smith, yes. So I can actually see it on, my, on, on Ecamm, this is brilliant. Anyway, so it's, it, is, it, is, it is really, really, amazing what it can do for your e-commerce store if you start discussing your your um, your products and how to use your products what to do with your products what customers are doing with your products there's so many variations on how to block right block anyway so I'm Veronica Jeans and I'm an e-commerce coach and I will show you how to bring more sales into your e-commerce store and make a bigger profit right okay so, and one of my, oh, so my free giveaway, and Dennis, you might want to ask for this, is I will give you a free assessment in your Shopify store. Um, it's about half an hour, half an hour, but I'm going to do it in a video, but it's totally free. Just comment below. I want an assessment or assessment or whatever you want to do. Just say, I want it. Okay. Let's get back to, um, and, and let's get back to why you need to do blogging and then we're going to discuss how to do it and how to reuse blogging and I'll show you some slides that I have to show you exactly what to do okay so and blogging just if you if you if you don't want to blog think about video so I make videos I pop it on my blog I write out whatever I've talked about right in proper English and then um, and and make sure that there's no ums and ahs and everything but make it all SEO perfect which is search engine optimized the Google way make your blog really Google friendly right and then so I use it in a blog right and then so you can use any videos that you're using and it's amazing what you can do with videos once you've got it in a blog you can post it again everywhere but I'll, before I get to that let me um, tell you a couple of extra things that you can do with so okay I think let me let me show you my my boom why you need to okay so yeah bear with me bear with me I need to screen I need to hang on make sure you can see my screen entire screen keynote yes keynote yes okay brilliant and there's my mouse so here's the thing when you are blogging, and I, and I added the, fl the vlogging as well, right? Making videos and blogs or whatever it's called, you know. When, they, when people read your content and you, say for instance, you're talking about your product and you say, you're telling people all about your product, how you did it, what you did it, you know, how you created the product maybe, or um, a very interesting customer, client who created a um, spark light, log lighter, <laughs> that's a big name, but... He created the whole thing, right? He he researched the electrical, the electronics that has to go in there, found a manufacturer, 
tested it all out, you know, and has the has the images and everything, the photos and everything. And I think it's an amazing story. So that, for instance, you can pop into a blog and then make a little um, picture picture video because a video these days, you know, they say pictures is a thousand words. A video is probably a million words, right? And then you pop it into your blog and then you post it in Facebook. You can post it in LinkedIn. You can post it everywhere, right? So why do you have to blog? When a potential customer sees it, it sort of goes, wow, you know, this looks interesting, but they don't go on your website yet. Then maybe, you know, they see something else, then they'll come on your website, hopefully, on your blog. Then they'll check out, hopefully, boom, check out your products, you know, because they're already on your blog, they're already in your store, and then they'll check out your, your products, right? And maybe they'll sign up for some email news. And then you can email them for specials and get them in to come and actually buy something. And then they come back and buy, right? So, it, and it's, it's hugely about Google and ranking. Because if you don't rank, if you don't play the Google game, you won't be on that first page. Because believe me, if you're not on the first page, I won't search further than the first, first page. And I think a lot of people are like me, right? They'll do boom, boom, boom. They look for something online. It doesn't come up, and you search for it again to see whatever comes up on that first page. So you really, really, this is how you can actually come up on the first page. So let me just go to my second. So this is anatomy of blogging. So let's go through it. So it's all about branding, right? Blogging is your branding, and you're going to show people who you are and what you do and how you do it. And it's, and so and this creates an authority about about you and your e-commerce store. I, I talked about personal branding a couple of days ago, in fact. And this is all about personal branding, right? So and then you can show them what you can do for your customer because remember they don't people don't buy from you, right? They, they, it's all about what's in it for me. Um, exactly. People don't buy from you because they just want to pop in and buy from you, they will want to know what's in it for them in your product. So what will your product do for them? Um, they're not just going to buy it because they love you. Well, maybe they will, but not, not necessarily. It, it's all about do they actually need this product and will they know, will they actually buy the product from you? And they need to trust you. They need to know that they can buy it from you. And we know, that's a whole nother conversation on, and we will maybe do that on What's tomorrow? Thursday, Friday, we'll do that on Friday, is how you can optimize your, your, your actually just your homepage. I'm not talking about anything else, just your homepage. Um, and I'll show you a little bit about when I do assessments. Um, but anyway, so you do your branding and then you have a promise how you can help and what your solution is. So why should people buy your product from you? Because it's a solution that they seek. And even if it's a gift item, it's like, I need something to buy for somebody and they find your product and it's unique and they love it immediately they'll buy from you but there's that thing again about branding and getting to know your customers as well right and blogging is how your customer gets to know you so then you have the content you write the content three to five steps maybe some tips how to use your product what to what to use your product with you know if you have clothing for instance you can show people what they should actually use your use the garment with you know maybe you should buy a necklace and show them some some lifestyle pictures and give them some advice and maybe give them some links right to buy those other products because really it, in the end it comes back because if you're solving their problem they're going to love you so, um, so easy, easy to use tools, you know, so, so if you use, if you're selling, um, say for instance, if you're selling, uh, food or if you're selling, um, exercise, right? If you're, if you're a fitness person, you sell, um, little vi fitness videos or if, you, and, and you have the fitness clothing, right? Then you will sell fitness tips on your blog and you will sell little videos on different types of exercise you do I'm I'm actually <laughs> creating a store right right now about 
uh, my personal virtual personal trainer and we're going to create a store for her for products right because i want her to be like the one-stop shop for her customers to come and buy stuff from her and then they use her to exercise so you've got to think outside the box when you are doing something so ne the next thing is the seed post con next post content oh yes yes so so if you're writing content and then you say okay you know i'm going to actually do this next step and um, talk about what comes next, right? Upcoming event, you know, how to get more help in the news. Because this is what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a live and then tomorrow I'm going to be talking about Shopify and MailChimp because, you know, they parted ways and how we're going to solve their problems. So I'm going to be very technical. And then on Friday, I'm going to be talking about how to look at your homepage and improve your homepage and, and, and get that optimization about your homepage. So your CTA, you're always in, in any blog, in anything that you post, you should have a CTA is uh, steps to action, right? No, CTA. Anyway, so leave a comment, share or like, ask people. You've got to tell people what to do. Literally, you've got to tell them, I want to like, I want to share. Um, um, give me a call. Do it now. you got a um, clear thing to action. And I know Dennis is on here and is going to tell me exactly what to do. Hey, Dennis. So, call to action. Clear call to action. Thank you. So, then you come back to the branding thing again. It's all about the branding. It's all that trust that you're building with your customers. That's why you have to blog. Okay. So, let's. I'm going to show you what you can do with your blog once you have it in your store so you have your store in front of you you have all your products and everything and then you have your blog that people can, and people don't really look at the blogs right i mean i don't go into the store and look at the blog the blog is just a destination for when you are talking about your store or talking about your product for them to actually get to your store without having to sell to them directly it is what's in it for me what's in it for your customers right that's how they look at your store. And um, so let me show you the second way, what you can actually do with one blog. And you can use this blog over and over and over again. So if you spend two hours on this blog, there's two hours that is so golden, you will never, never regret it. This is what you can do with it. A, it's in your website, in your store, right, in your blog. You can use it in your email. Here's a tip. Don't put the whole blog in the email. Get them to come back to your store so they can look at your products, right? You can put it on Facebook, in your post, right? You can put it on Pinterest, okay? You can put it on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is such a, a, a people are not using LinkedIn. And, you know, people are on LinkedIn. They have a job. They have money. It's not just B2B. It's B2C, okay? You can put it in stories, Instagram stories, Facebook stories. You can put it in Instagram, right? Um, and then you have you'll have to use you'll have to use an image. So you've got to have really really good images, right? Always think about what you're putting out there is part of your brand, and it has to look amazing, right? Then what you can do is once it's once it's on that on Facebook, you can go into Facebook ads and create an ad out of your post so you can see oh my lord you know these people have really liked it I can show Facebook I get engagement on this on this post boom create an ad so now you've had one two three four five six seven eight eight different ways to reuse and I haven't even spoken about YouTube and I'm sure there's something else you know Twitter you can post it on Twitter if you're on active on Twitter you can post it everywhere right so that's how you can use one blog. And so say, for instance, if you are using a long term, a long term, uh, not a long term, like a long written blog, um, then you can actually break it up and post parts of it. Right. So you post your blog and then you come back to your blog and you go, OK, I'm just going to post a part of my blog onto Facebook with an amazing image. Right. So then again, it's that that one little problem that you have on your blog. And another secret, Google likes long content. Put a lot of information on your, on your, um, on your blog 
and put headers in because Google will come in and check those headers out. And if somebody asks a question, they can immediately come onto, onto the page and read about all the different things that you are talking about. Um, I wonder if I have it open. I don't think I have it open. I did. No, no. Um, let me see here. Uh, no, this is not the one. I've got, I've got many of these things. But I wanted to show you guys about... Um, about what Google does, um, and that's one of the one of the workshops I'm doing next week is how to get into the featured box and how to get onto that question. You know, when you ask a question, the the the, um, the question question boxes come up as well. That's free advertising, and 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 you can do it all because of your blog, right? So you can actually get onto Google One Page One organically, very very easy. I got onto Google. Google um, page one on Google because I was by accident I was um, actually um, putting content on this website taking the products changing the products changing how they look change and not this was a very boring product this was piping piping stuff it's piping and ducts and stuff so it's nothing interesting it's not so, so <laughs> you can't even make it interesting right and, but I was just doing a lot on the back end and because I was working on the site so much, it popped up onto the front page. So onto page one on Google. So this is how you get onto the front page of Google is, is if you put in content on your blog or um, on your website, in the blog or on your website all the time and, you, and you're renewing your your information all the time and you are becoming an authority in your niche market you will get onto that page one on google and you know how important that is right so here create the content so how to do it what to do okay you start your blog you don't know what to do just think about questions that you can uh, that your customers ask you what do what questions do they ask you how to use your product I, I, I chatted to my skincare lady, a Parisian's Pure Indulgence, and, and I said to her, okay, so I've been using skincare all my life, since I was 12 years old. And I, you know, things change, all, well, they don't change that much, but, you know, you have to add more stuff to your little routine, right, the older you get. So how do you use it? What do you use first? How do you pat it on your face, you know? How do you do whatever on your face? So show me. Right? I want to see it in a blog. I want to see it in a video. And then she can create a blog out of it. Steps of how to clean your face. Or how to put blah, blah, blah on your face. And it really does work. Okay, so industry information. You know, what's new in the industry? In your niche market, what's new? What's, what's happening, right? And I know Dennis has coffee and tea. I'm going to buy my tea from Dennis. Um, um, so you can put in... What's new in the, you know, what are, what Starbucks using in their coffee? You know, Starbucks actually burns all their coffee, so it tastes the same. But, um, you know, what, what, what's fabulous in, from South America, there's so many coffees out there that he can talk about and actually talk about the communities that are, create, that are growing the coffees and what they're doing, right? There's so much, if you just start looking, there's so much information out there that you will not believe it. So, and also customer experience. So ask your customers about the experience with your products, right? And obviously you can't do that if you don't have customers yet. But here's the thing. If you haven't tested your customers out and you're selling products, right? You should have already found out if your customers, or if you can get customers with your product before you set up a store. You need to be out there talking to people and saying, hey, you know, are you interested in this? Would you buy this from me? Okay. And then, um, so case studies. So with uh, my piping guy, okay, my, my boring duck piping guy is we're going to do case studies because here it is. So if your customer sees, you know what, I have, my customer had this problem, this is my solution, and this is what I did. A case study, right? So when, you're, when you send it out in an email and one of the, what, somebody says, oh, you know what? I have that exact problem. I need to contact these guys. Again, you become the authority in the industry. 
right? Dennis, you need to talk about coffee all the time, right? So um, a big thing is I talk about a hero image for your blog. And pe most people don't know what it is, but it's a big image you have on your blog. Let me see if I can find one. Um, let me see if I can find one on my blog, which will really be amazing, right? Um, okay, so here we go. Let's have a look. Okay, so I have to show you. Hang on. I have to change the screen to Google Chrome. Here you go. So hero image. This is a hero image, right? A nice big image. But if so, if you're looking at my blogs, I have, um, okay, that's my top of mind. So I have, I just written this here. Okay, that's a hero image. It actually spans the whole page. And so when you are posting this on, let's save this on Pinterest, just, just for example, look at that. It becomes a beautiful big image on Pinterest and you know what I should um, let's see here so we can go boom baby it's on Pinterest you see I'm actually working while I'm talking to you guys so let's see here uh, so that and that's how it comes up right so now people can actually see the image and then um, so here um, let me see some let me see if there's anything else that I can show I'll show you a um, this is an, this is, uh, let me see here. So the a video doesn't always come out properly, right? So you should have a hero shot that is ready for you to post probably in Pinterest because it doesn't show up in Pinterest. You can see I can't pin it, right? So you need to create an image of that and then post it on Pinterest. So here's another quick tip. Okay. So here's another quick tip. So if you on Facebook, this is from Facebook. I've had 960 something views. Whoa, that's amazing. Okay. And so I've, this is, I've downloaded it from, no, I didn't download it. I, yeah, one of them I downloaded, but you can also embed it into your, into your um, store, into your blog in the back end, right? In, some, in Shopify, it's really, really easy. And then, and then you can actually see this is this shows people. Wow, you know, she actually knows what she's talking about. It's from Facebook, and as many people as are watching it will actually show up here on the on the video. It only comes out this small, but who cares, right? So anyway, so here is I should actually put maybe maybe another couple of images just so I can post it on Pinterest. But here's the thing, you know, you have to start. When you are starting to blog, think about it. Think what you need to do with it. And then, um, okay, so that's the wrong one. Then you can, here we go. Then then it's easy to actually start posting it everywhere. So when you're thinking about your, your news article, what you're going to post, when you're going to post it, and how you're going to post it, and make those headers so that people will actually stop and read it. So, and then also with every single post, every single blog, there has to be clear take to action <laughs> in the blog, right? What do you want people to do with this blog? Do you just want to read them? No. You want them to read it. You want them to maybe link to a product. You want to give your customers something to download. You want them to sign up, but you have to tell your customers what to do, right? Or you want them to leave a comment. Again, you've got to tell your customers what to do, okay? So here's the next step. Um, I mean, this is what I'm going to do with all my videos from now on. I want you guys to have next steps is start blogging on your e-commerce store, right? And this was something extra. Um, and then so extra tasks, action steps. This, um, this, um, these slides are from taking your goals. And this is also part of your goals, right, that you need to do. So, um, Comment on some blog, share with friends. I want you guys to see this. Share with friends, educate about your products, market your products, talk about the industry, about business, entertain them, you know, write an entertaining blog. Um, um, and, I, and I come back to the coffee, you know, what's entertaining about, about maybe drinking coffee or drinking too hot coffee or people being very picky about their coffee, right? Be very clear on your uh, call to actions, right? CTAs is call to actions. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> it's been a challenge to come on today, but I have loved every minute of it. 
and I hope this all made sense and I will be posting all the all the the points in my in the actual um, um, workshop at the top of in the text right so again you if you have a if you want a free assessment please let me know below and also let me know afterwards or messenger me with um, Veronica Jean's mentor thanks Dennis and uh, Veronica Jean's mentor you can actually text text um, and you know what I I wonder if people can see that probably not you know oh look at this oh yes I got Dennis on my workshop yes I want to do more video reviews and blogging about products I sell in my store yes Dennis exactly right and um, yes oh no you don't have to move to WooCommerce you've got to stick to Shopify right you've got to stick to Shopify anyway Thanks, Dennis, for, for being with us today and commenting. I love it. I love it. Anyway, you guys, I hope you got a lot out of this today. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be specifically talking about MailChimp and Shopify and what's happened. Um, there was a separation of, uh, of apps and how we still can use MailChimp and why we should use MailChimp or ConvertKit or whatever. In fact, I want to talk, I'll be talking, in fact, you know what I'll do, I'll probably get Dennis on here to talk about ConvertKit and how we can, how we can actually um, pop that into our Shopify store and why we should do it. So here's maybe next week, right, Dennis? So, and I'll be also getting in somebody to talk about trademarking um, and I'll be getting in a journalist to talk about pre-launch and PR and all that cool stuff. So I've got a whole slew of interviews that are coming up as well. And these, this is probably day four of my 30 day video challenge was my own, my own personal video challenge. And I'm doing um, 30 days to see how my engagement is on Facebook. Okay. And I will be talking about it as soon as I'm done with it. I'll do a whole reveal on what I did and how I did it and what happened on my business page. Anyway, thanks for popping in. I love you guys. I'll be back tomorrow, probably a little bit early, not this late, but um, uh, I will be posting about it and I will also be, ha, I'll also be um, letting you know exactly what I'm going to be talking about. Today was a little bit discombobulated, but I was on, I did it. I'm up for, for doing the 30 day every single day this month I'm going to do a video and it's all about, about e-commerce what to do on e-commerce what to do on Shopify and what to do for your e-commerce in social media I'm Veronica Jeans and I'm an e-commerce coach and business strategist and I help you to make more profits online and get become the authority and the expert that you are thank you for listening I love you guys bye